Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Nick Kanemoto with the Bass Hookup. It's been a long, long time since we put a video out there. Um, you know, life just got busy. We've had, between me and my brother, three kids, bought homes, moved, all that sort of stuff. And we just do this for fun, so. But now, we're all on quarantine, so luckily, I live out in a community where we have six or seven lakes where we can fish all the time, and uh, nobody's around. Really, besides some people walking, some people are fishing from the bank. So I'm gonna start a new series, just real simple, just using this GoPro, um, putting on a chesty, and bringing you along with me while I fish. Uh, today's goal is to fish hop lakes, find fish on beds, and to just use one thing. I'm just gonna try to catch them all on a depth slide swimmer. Every fish. Uh, if I can't. I did bring one backup bait, a bait that I make um, that later I'll do some videos on. It's a prototype bait. I have a two, three different prototype baits right now that are going to come out under the Silvertron brand that um, we're excited to put out there. I've been working on them for nine months now, uh, trying to get everything perfect, all the components and everything like that. Um, and then also from time to time, we'll I'll have fish tournaments have those that footage up here uh, pre fishing anything that has to do with fishing really I'll be posting but right now I've been fishing every single day coming out here for a few hours maybe at night middle of the day whenever I could get out away from the house and uh, so I'll be posting a lot of that footage on here in the, in the upcoming days and months who knows how long it's gonna last all right and I could already see fish maybe on a bed there's one sitting in the shade right here so it looks good I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna try oh yeah, there's two I'm actually gonna try this other bait here with this head on it that this is that prototype bait that I was talking about. This is a quarter ounce, three out hook. It just has that flared out lip molded right out of the lead. What that does is the bait sits just like that in the water, it helps it do that. Also, when you pop it off the bottom, it doesn't just come straight back to you like a ball head would. It doesn't just hop, hop, it goes side to side all over the place. And you could get it almost to stay in one spot because it goes side, side, front, back, left, right. So I'm gonna stay up here and see if I could get one out of this shade. I got him. I got him. First cast. I don't want to walk through all those thorny bushes. I got shorts on. But first cast. That prototypo, prototypo, prototype jig head, right there. You could throw a swim bait on it and just reel it. Or I like to just throw a straight tail worm. This one, that was a five inch worm. I cut a bit of a bit of it off. I like it smaller for these bed fish. There's still one sitting right there, so I'll let this guy go. He's on a bed. I think he's just sitting there. Let's see if I don't spook him. Oh, there's another one I didn't even see. Those are right down on the bait now. Yep. 
This one should bite it. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's not big. thing off the bottom he came and swung on it oh Adam oh. short striking I might have to shorten that even more Jeez, that time didn't have a problem. Swallowed that thing. go go back to guarding your nest let's see oh there's one right there perfect I kind of want to catch from the other side because there's a stick in the way so I'm gonna walk up here where you can't see me walk around walk around walk around there he is all right. Ooh, there's a nice one over there too. All right. It's a decent one. All right. Let's see here. Oh. A bigger one came from the weed line. Just. Oh yeah, I'm gonna catch this fish, it's hot. You see that? Perfect. There we go. Here we go. tail bit the tail kind of want to get that other fish out there he keeps chasing it every time in too uh, he might eat it right away let's see cast it out there to him her whatever You know what? Jaw dropper. Let's see. Okay. There we go. It's good.
looking at it, but not as, not nearly as aggressive as they are towards the, towards the depths. Something about that big swim bait, just they can't stand that thing being on their bed. Okay, now I can see a little bit better. I think this bed is right there. Oh, oh got him. Got the big one. Big one. Bigger one. And that head. It's a nice fish. He got calm enough for a second. I could see its bed out there and I could see that this guy sitting over it. Nice little one. Not a giant, but a little one. Back that same fish back up on top of the hill and throw in the depths again. See if see if he'll eat that. God, these freaking spiky things. Shorts aren't the best idea. Oh yeah. He wants the depths. Doesn't like that guy. Oh. Golly. Every time. Some fish. If they don't react to something small, throw something big. Because this thing would not really react to the little bait. And this thing, he's hitting it every time. Just got to figure out what the fish's personality is. Come on. Come on. I'll tell you what, he knows right where his tail, that tail of that thing is with no hook. Oh my gosh, I thought I had him that time. sinking cast. Got him. Finally. There we go. Catch and release, run down here and I'm right back. There we go. Finally. Okay, right here. We were just right there. Came down to here. A bunch of trees in a row. And these fish are around the trees. I can't see anything though, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pitch this around and see if I could get any followers. Or Better yet, one to bite it. So I know that fish, they all live on this little stretch. Just hard to get to them because these trees, right now it's hard to see if they're on beds. And we know they're on beds, obviously. 
but we have had some fall of this thing, so cast us out and maybe there's a big one just sitting in the shade. Oh, I just had one right there, actually. Right by that stump. Just came up and tried to eat it. Oh, I can't see. Dang it. I think there's a couple of them right there. I don't know if they're on beds, but it's kind of hard to get this big bait to them. Let's go back up there and get the jaw dropper. Flip it right there by that stump. I think it'll be game on. Let's see. Let's see. I can barely see him kind of trying to nose down on it. But that's about it. Got one right there. There we go. Draw dropper strikes again. P and two. Get him back there. I didn't see that fish at all. I just cast out there by this on the other side of this stump. I could still see these two fish over here. Two in a row. Boom. Two in a row. Gotta have that open hook when you can. If you're sight fishing or anytime. You see I barely felt any pressure on this fish and pulled into him and he's there. Awesome. I came to the other side of the lake. Now the wind's kind of blowing this way. But I see a big, big one on a bed. I'm going to go down there and try to catch it. There's Even the male is a good size. But the female is a nice fish. Let's take both these rods, walk down there and see if we can't first not get bitten by a rattlesnake. And two, catch one of these nice fish that might be really spooky. I don't like that I have to go down here. I don't have really a good angle from up here to flip under this tree. I have to go down here and be quiet, so. Hmm. These fish should have no problem eating this guy right here. I think what I'm gonna do is get low. Cast 
towards that green leaf sticking out there as my marker because his bed is right in between me and that. into the Battery just died, I just caught this one. The next morning, battery died in between that fish catch. You're able to see a little bit of it. I just want to do a recap to end the video. I didn't want to end it just on that. And uh, basically yesterday I went out there to catch them on this the Depths 175 slide swimmer. Uh, great bait, been catching a lot of bed fish on it. But you know, in the video I ended up catching a bunch on, the, on my uh, prototype jaw dropper head right here with a Missile Baits Baby Destroyer on it. Good bait, small profile, something easy that they could pick up. Uh, no weed guard, no nothing. As soon as they pick that thing up, hook them. So that's about it. Uh, I used these two baits in the last video. I'll probably be using more of them uh, in, the, in the next couple days or as long as they're on beds, but we'll mix it up. I'll uh, do some videos on the other prototype baits that we've been working on that should be coming out here soon uh, we're also making a website right now um, Silvertron products is creating the website you can be able to go out there buy the baits even customize them all that we'll we'll get into that different video but it's a new day I'll probably well I will I'll get out to the lakes again maybe a different one shoot some more footage and post it in a couple days all right thanks